Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome in. We have a very, very special stream ahead of us today. Oh, yeah. Something we have yet to do ever in the history of the Saints broadcast. <laughs> going to be covering some high school, middle school, Rocket League, OFSCA. Going to have a couple of grand finals to be played. All different rankings and divisions. Mm -hmm. Lots of schools have played through a massive bracket to get here. Jobin and Fundy are here. Should be a very, very exciting day, man. Yeah, this is going to be a big one. I mean, we've essentially, we've got three different grand finals yep. to broadcast today. They're going to be in best of five fashion. Today, we are starting off with the high school division that is going to be platinum minus here in rocket league and in the finals you can kind of see the logos up there just a bit but we've got bugged hyper wide chicken esports up it. against the wildcats there and coming into this one it's actually going to be the wildcats in that winner side kind of yeah. coming out of the winner side they're going to be getting a game advantage in the series instead of having a, a losers come in and reset yeah they're just going to be starting off 1-0 in the series essentially yeah. we've seen we saw some great names we had we're doing the homework before the stream oh, yeah. definitely one of the best team names that we've seen across the board they did make it into the grand finals that being said though we are on to the pitch for essentially what you said will be game two eastview wildcats will get that game advantage take that first game now christ the king bugged hyper wide chicken gonna be on the comeback trail to kick off this series yeah, it's Fernley from the side of the Wildcats to get his hand on the ball there first. We actually see a little bit of a skirmish here up in front of the net. Fernley going to have to keep it in this hyper-wide chicken side. I think we might just have to start calling him CTK for speed's sake, but it's Tinny to find that first goal flying right over that defender, and he's going to plant that firmly in the back of the net. Yeah, his name might be 0-0, but this game is already one nothing for these Wildcats. They have that one nothing series lead as well. Great start if you want to get ahead of yourself. You already have that game advantage. Now going to get on the board nice and early. Going to feel very, very good for this team. Now, Christ the King going to have to find some way to get back in this thing. Yeah, and it looks like the Wildcats might have already found another one. Fernley almost right off the kickoff. Look at that pass right to the center there, and Fernley is perfectly in line to set that one up. Looking like the Saints varsity team out there. Great pass off that wall. Perfect setup over the middle there. Nice one-timer. Nice and clean to kick things off, finding their second goal in 35 seconds into the second game here. Christ the King trying to find some way to get this ball into this orange zone. Try to get a couple shots on net going back the other way. Start to put that pressure on and make Eastview think twice about diving into that net. Yeah, and it's the side of the Wildcats coming out strong and showing us exactly why they're coming out of that winner side in the bracket. It's Big Butter Bandit to get a bit of a breakaway there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's, it's a great name. I love it. Great name. They're able to find a breakaway and a demo can't convert it into that goal in the end, but... The pressure coming back from Hyper Wide Chicken here. Back into the corner. See Bug Pal. Gonna have to chase that one down as both defenders actually move into this corner position. No one from the Wildcats really coming to contest it too, too deep. Oh. But that could be an open one for the Wildcats. Fernley! Right place, right time, finding his second goal of the game there. And Eastview has got to be feeling good about this start. Nice little skirmish in front of the net there. That second member just not quite able to make it there. That will be the third on the board for the Wildcats to kick things off. Lots of time to play if you're bugged Hyper White Chicken, though. Three minutes, as we always say on the Collegiate Broadcast, is an eternity in Rocket League. It only takes a couple seconds to get that goal, so they got plenty of time to keep working away at this one. Yeah, honestly, I mean, you can see just how close it got there from the Wildcats once again, though. If they keep this pressure on, Hyper White Chicken is going to have a hard time coming back. Three goals down already, and the momentum is not stopping from the Wildcats. Hyper Wide Chicken, though, they're going to have to play some good defense to stop this barrage of goals from coming in. Yeah, that was a great play. Second touch off the wall there. That was an absolutely picture-perfect pass. Skating it by that defender, Tinny. Going to be there to knock that one in once again. That goalie just a few pixels off being able to make that save. And Christ the King, so far, trying to find that first goal on the board. They've had a couple decent chances in that orange end. Just got to get a couple more to stack on top of each other and finally find that first goal. Yeah, really. I mean, they've had, you know, one or two shots to come through. You see Big Butter Bandit got one on the stats there. And a nice little play around the defender might actually get them started with something, but it's going to ride up that wall. And it's Tinny to have to try and clear it out of this Wildcat zone. Hyper Wide Chicken can't really get much started. They don't have the pass really to set anything up. Fernley 
tries to find an angle on that one, but just barely misses that. And that's going to give Hyper Wide Chicken a chance to get, you know, their foot in the door here. They've kind of slowed down this offensive just enough to be able to shut down the prime opportunities that the Wildcats have been finding all game. Yeah, they've done a much better job the last 30 seconds of kind of controlling that ball a little bit more, trying to get those outlet passes going. That one's going to go in front of the crease, though. Second member going to be there. Second touch will be found. Fernley going to end up in the net. That's going to be a hat trick. First one of the day. Potentially, we might see more going on. Eastview, though, has a 5 nothing lead. They are feeling good. And hey, you're going to get rewarded when you crash the net just like that. I think he had two assists as well. So he's going to have every 100% point participation there. Eastview off to a blazing start. Yeah, and it's really just this two-man and sometimes three-man offense that comes through from the side of the Wildcats. We're already seeing oh. another one just sail it straight in from the skies. That's going to be the first goal here for a Tiger Lilies, the player, you know, that's been sitting back on the defense a little right. more. But this entire roster, when they find their openings, they take it. And nothing emphasizes that more than that 6-0 scoreline as we're about to hit two minutes. We're only three minutes know, into this game. The Wildcats are giving us an absolute treat Whoa. today, trying to make it seven. Can this middle player find it? Fernley off the crossbar. It's going to be Big Butter Bandit on that save. Great one to be able to stop that, but you got to put things into gear here. A minute 40 left, and you're still sitting with a donut on the scoreboard, but Eastview not stopping the pressure. And Tiger Lily, like you said, was very, very quiet on the defensive side most of the game. All of a sudden, busting out the mechanics left, right, and oh, center, yeah. carrying that ball to the net several times, almost finding that second touch as well. Really showing off the mechanical prowess there. Christ the King trying to at least get one on the board here. Try to get some momentum going into what potentially could be that last game. They might have to be in that reverse sweep situation, but they have a little bit of time still to try to get some positive momentum going. Shot going to go toward that net. Chopper is going to end up going in. Hyper Dragon going to finally break through the scorecards for Bugged Hyper Wide Chicken. Now we have a 6-1 ball game on our hands. Yeah, for what it is, the bouncer down the middle is good. Straight to the center of that net. You know, you're going to take that zero off the scoreboard, bring yourself, you know, you're down five goals, a minute left. But the thing I'm seeing here is that, you know, they've kind of got an idea of how this offense works from the Wildcats. They see the Wildcats getting really, really aggressive. So sometimes big lob shots like that are what you need to send back to try and get this pressure started, keep it in this Wildcats zone. You know, even if you don't find this game, it seems like they've got more of an idea, to, yeah. you know, of how this team is working. Yeah, and that's what we usually see from game one of a series, even mm -hmm. though they are down 0-1. Usually you have that feeling out process, kind of see what you're up against, what the other team maybe kind of wants to do. Oh, bump in front of the net. Demo going to come through as well. That shot was going to get denied there. Big Butter Bandit getting credited with that save. Ball going back to that blue side goal. Still kicking around on the goal line. Tiger Lily trying to find the angle here, trying to win out that weight room battle. But Christ the King will keep it out of there for the time being. Being, trying to keep this game in serve at least there is only 20 seconds left to play in this match though and Eastview has a very very solid advantage demo gonna come through for the hyper wide chicken they're not going away easily but 10 seconds to play five goals down it looks more than likely like Eastview will be the winners of this game too and they will take that two nothing lead in the series as well yeah now the unfortunate part of that game advantage for hyper wide chicken here they're up in reverse sweep territory in this grand finals but at the same time you know that last minute was much, much yes. slower from the side of the Wildcats, and a lot of that came down to Hyper Wide Chicken just kind of finding out how to shut down this defense. Yep. They really started challenging those balls, started throwing them right back over the center, right? And we saw Hyper Dragon even found one off yep. of it. So we could be coming into, I guess, game three now here and seeing a completely different story than we saw last Yeah, game. and we always talk about when a team is super, super aggressive like that and they're really trying to get that ball in your zone, there's usually going to be room for a counterattack, and that's exactly what we saw from Hyper Dragon. Mm -hmm. Able to get that chopper, send that one skying back the other way, put it right down the pipe. So if they can get a couple more shots like that, at least send it the other end. You can maybe get the defense scrambling a little bit, especially when they've been playing so much offense. Might be a little foreign to them to be playing back on that defensive side. So maybe you can catch them off guard and get back in this series. Yeah, especially, I mean, we saw first two minutes there, they found on what four goals yeah. from the Wildcats and with so much offense right there's got to be somewhere in the defense <laughs> yeah. that is going to crack and it's just going to take bug hyper wide chicken here to kind of navigate that defense yeah. find the crack and really just play off of that if they can shut down the 
early, early goals that the Wildcats yeah. were finding last game. I think they'll find themselves in a much better position because really the unfortunate part of last game was they found out, they found those cracks in the defense just a smidge too late yeah. in the game and they were just down a few too many goals and unfortunately that's how Rocket League ends up sometime. But now already we're seeing these players kind of battle it out a little bit more in their zone, clear it out towards that side. It's Fernley to keep it in for the Wildcats, but here's the opportunity I'm talking about. Get on the offensive. Bug Hyper Wide Chicken already starting off this game much, much stronger than the last. Yeah, nice little touch over the crossbar there. Luckily, Eastview able to knock that one away for them. They're gonna send this one back into that far corner. Gonna try to play this one out off the wall. Nice little touch to the middle there. Trying to get a teammate down the middle with that pass. Looks like that's gonna be a good shot on net. Great save by Hyper Dragon to come out, challenge that one nice and early before it can get close to that goal line. Knock that one aside. Much better start defensively for Christ the King. Make it a couple saves already. Getting a couple offensive chances as well. That one's gonna go just wide of the post. Butter Bandit almost gonna be the goal scorer there. Christ the King would love to open things up one nothing. I guess get some momentum going. Yeah, Christ the King even able to catch their own rebounds this game as well, which has been a bigger one to just time-wise. We're now a minute 10 into the game and no goals have been found. A huge contrast yeah. from last game where we had already seen two or three by this point. Hyper Dragon, great spot in net to clear it out. Fernley though on the other oh. side of that. He's right wow. in position to keep this pressure going. We're gonna see Tinny over there. It's gonna fly straight over him. Tinny not there in time. Hyper Dragon gonna find the second goal of the series for Bugged Hyper Wide Chicken here. That is gonna be 1-0. Taking the lead for the first time here as well. You know, that's as Best as you could yep. start the reverse sweep for yourself there. Good defense turns into good offense. Exactly what we said in the break. If you're able to channel this hyper aggression from Eastview, you can send that ball back the other way, get a really, really good shot at the net. Hyper X Dragon, he's got that long, he's got long range sniper as one of the abilities, hitting two long range shots already. Couple demos gonna go back and forth here. Hyper White Chicken playing a much better series. Now they're looking for bodies as well, finding demos left and right. That shot's gonna be denied on that left side of that post as well. As you said, Game one is almost always a feeling out game. This is a significantly different team from game one. Yeah, and I, I think that comes to the Wildcats also giving a little bit more respect now that they realize that Hyper Wide Chicken is on that offensive when the ball is in their hands. They're leaving Tinny back farther a yeah. little more is one thing I've noticed. They're not going in for as many three-man plays, which, yes, it got them a lot of goals, but it was also the reason oh, beautiful. Hyper Dragon got that goal, but Fernley coming right back at them, tying it up 1-1, one, one, and with another beautiful passing play off the post there. Yeah, unselfishness being rewarded very, very much so. Hyper Wide Chicken, it can be a 1-1 one, one game now. They had that lead for a little bit. Eastview, though, we knew they were going to come back storming. They find that equalizing goal now. Can be back toward that orange end. Hyper wide trying to figure out something here. Great second touch from Bandit. Is there a teammate to follow? There is. Gonna find the follow. That's gonna be a beautiful goal. Tic-tac-toe, backboard, and back of the net. And just like that, they will take back their one goal lead over Eastview. Yeah, and it only takes a fraction of a second, and that is the key in Rocket League. 15 seconds off the kickoff there, and Hyper Dragon finds the second of the game, or his second of the game is there now back to this lead and can kind of go back to playing a little bit more defense, but at the same time, one goal in Rocket League. We say it all the time. You can see how close Fernley was to that one. And off the rebound, it's Tiger Lilies for the second, his second of the series, tying it back up at 2-2. And once again, 2-2, 2, -two, two <laughs> yeah. on the scoreboard. We've been in this situation I a know, lot I recently, know. Joven. I know, it's kind of weird. A whole lot of twos and a whole lot of defense, at least showing up in this game, hyper wide. Has played such a has played a much better game than the previous time. They're getting it done on offense, finding these defensive chances. Oh, a little floater on the goal line, though. Tiger Lilies picking up their second goal of the game. They're gonna steal that lead back away from Hyper Wide. Two goals in 12 seconds. Exactly what the doctor ordered for them. A little bit of bar down action as well. Yeah, if it was me, it would have went straight off that crossbar. But these players a lot more talented than me. Coming in, Eastview now taking the lead for the first time in this game. And keep in mind, they're one game away from winning this grand finals. They are looking to take this lead, roll with it, try to make it as large as possible, try to get into a more comfortable state like they were last game. But it's going to be hard. 
Hyper Wide Chicken giving some serious, serious resistance this game. Yeah, they gotta be careful with this ball though in front of the net. Tiger Lilies, that's gonna be three unanswered, three in a row, and a hat trick on the game. Two hat tricks in back to back games for this series so far. That's gonna be exactly what Eastview is looking for. They wanna close out this grand final as soon as possible. Now they're gonna hold that two goal advantage. Hyper Wide Chicken gonna have to figure something out. They've gotten it done a couple times this game already. Gonna have to dig a little bit deeper though and try to ride this one out strong. Tinny tries to find a good shot there, but Hyper Dragon in place for that save. Gonna challenge it out back towards this other side. Christ the King, Hyper Wide Chicken here. They need to come back sometime in this minute and a half because now you're two goals down at the snap of a finger and you gotta flip this back in your favor. 125 coming down on the clock. And the Wildcats, I mean, two hat tricks in two games on two different players yeah. as well. That shows just how well rounded that offense is. Doesn't matter who passes, doesn't matter who's taking the shot. You know it's gonna hit the back of the net so, so often there. Yeah, hyper wide, this ball going back to that blue end now. Great passing play over the middle, just not gonna be quite converted there. This ball gonna be taken to that orange side. Demo gonna be found by Bandit. Trying to find it's the goal as well. Away. Great double demo. Ball Ooh. off the crossbar. Not going to find its way into the net. What a one save. more shot toward the net. Post going to kick that one aside. Hyper so close to finding that goal that he desperately needed. But the door being shut repeatedly inside. And that was a great attempt by Tinny there. Riding that one across that goal line. Not able to convert. 35 seconds left. Bugged Hyper Wide has had so many great chances. That's Just getting it. denied. They will end up converting though. 34 seconds to play. Big Butter Band are gonna get them on the board. Now they have 34 seconds to make or break this series. That is exactly what they needed though. They have just enough time to make something happen. BMX Big Butter Bandit had a bit of a slow series to start, but coming back 34 seconds now for Hyper Wide Chicken. You've only got to find one goal and you've been having so much success this game. Whoa. It's the battle of the creases right now. I feel like every time we take a look at the ball here, it's so close to one of these nets and there's three, four players just battling it out. This ball has not had the time to, you know, get a lot of long shots off. It's been a lot of close quarters shots here towards the net. Five seconds left. This is for the grand finals here in the high school division. The Wildcats, it's gonna fall, and Eastview Wildcats are your champions today. Yeah, they are your OFSCA champions. They played a great series. We saw that second game as well, especially Christ the King putting up such a fight, mm -hmm. especially compared to that first game. That's the beautiful thing about having winner's advantage, though. Walking with that one nothing series lead, it kind of gives you that feel-out game. Yeah. They took full advantage, and they never looked back after that. Yeah, it really, I, I mean, there's a, it's called game advantage for a reason. You come in and, you know, the Wildcats really only having to play a best of three there, yep. essentially, unless Hyper Wide Chicken was going to take them all <laughs> the way to that game five. And granted, after that feel out first game, yeah. like we talked about. The first about, minute, really, honestly, first, too. Yeah, yeah, truthfully. the Yeah, the later half of that game was a lot stronger from Hyper Wide Chicken as well. But, I mean, they come in, they give resistance in that yeah. last game. But, you know, the Wildcats... They, they rallied back. Hyper Wide Chicken had the lead for like yeah. half of that game. They come back with two quick ones from the Wildcats and they sail with that lead yeah. all the way to the trophy. Yeah, Hyper Wide Chicken was doing a great job of getting those long range shots and finding those goals. It just felt like the uh, the other side, or Eastview rather, they had a little bit more of set passing plays. Mm -hmm. They found a couple great second touches off the backboard, a couple great passes over the middle that were very, very hard to save at any level. And just Hyper Wide just couldn't find quite the goals. But as you said, that series got better and better as it went on. Just a shame they didn't have that first game to try to maybe swing the series back in their favor, but that's the beautiful thing about being that winner final. Yeah, so that is going to be it for our high school series. The Eastview Wildcats taking that one. We are going to be back in a little bit with another one of these brackets here. I believe the middle school one is next, if I'm correct. So that we will be back with that, and we will have your teams as well sometime yes. in the break screen. So definitely do not want to miss that. We will be back in just a short while. here up in front of the net. Burnley gonna have to keep it in this 
hyper wide chicken side. I think we might just have to start calling him CTK for speed's sake, but it's Tinny to find that first goal flying right over that defender, and he's gonna plant that firmly in the back of the net. Yeah, his name might be 0-0, but this game is our game advantage. Now gonna get on the board nice and early. Gonna feel very, very good for this team. Now, Christ the King gonna have to find some way to get back in this thing. Yeah, and it looks like the Wildcats might have already found another one. Fernley almost right off the kickoff. Look at that pass right to the center there, and Fernley is perfectly in line. But he moved into this corner position. No one from the Wildcats really coming to contest it too, too deep, but that could be an open one for the Wildcats. Fernley! Right place, right time, finding his second goal of the game there. And Eastview has got to be feeling good about this start. Nice little skirmish in front of the net there. That second member just not quite able to make it. Three goals down already, and the momentum is not stopping from the Wildcats. Hyper Wide Chicken, though, they're going to have to play some good defense to stop this barrage of goals from coming in. Yeah, that was a great play. Second touch off the wall there. That was an absolutely picture-perfect pass, stating it by that defender, Tinny. Going to be there to knock that one in once again. That piece that the Wildcats have been finding all game. Yeah, they've done a much better job the last 30 seconds of kind of controlling that ball a little bit more, trying to get those outlet passes going. That one's going to go in front of the crease, though. Second member going to be there. Second touch will be found. Firmly going to end up in the net. That's going to be a hat trick. First one of the day. Potentially, we might see more going on. Eastview, though, has a 5 0 lead. They are feeling good. And hey, you're going to get rewarded when you crash the net just start. Yeah, and it's really just this two man and sometimes three man offense that comes through from the side of the Wildcats. We're already seeing oh. another one just sail it straight in from the skies. That's going to be the first goal here for a Tiger Lilies, the player, you know, that's been sitting back on the defense a little right. more, but this entire roster, when they find they're going into what potentially could be that last game, they might have to be in that reverse sweep situation, but they have a little bit of time still to try to get some positive momentum going. Shot gonna go toward that net chopper is gonna end up going in Hyper Dragon, gonna finally break through the scorecards for Bug Hyper Wide Chicken. Now we have a 6-1 ball game on our hands. Yeah, for what it is, the bouncer down the middle is good straightly though on the other oh. side of that. He's right wow. in position to keep this pressure going. We're going to see Tinny over there. It's going to fly straight over him. Tinny not there in time. Hyper Dragon going to find the second goal of the series for Bugged Hyper Wide Chicken here. That is going to be 1-0. Taking the lead for the first time here as well. A yeah. little more is one thing I've noticed. They're not going in for as many three men plays, which yes, it got them a lot of goals, but it was also the reason oh, beautiful. Hyper Dragon got that goal, but Fernley coming right back at them, tying it up 1-1, and with another beautiful passing play off the post there. Yeah, unselfishness being rewarded. They find that equalizing goal now. Be back toward that orange end. Hyper wide trying to figure out something here. Great second touch from Bandit. Is there a teammate to follow? There is. Gonna find the follow. That's gonna be a beautiful goal. Tic tac toe, backboard, and back of the net. And just like that, they will take back their one goal lead over Eastview. Yeah, and it only takes a fraction of a second and playing a little bit more defense, but at the same time, one goal in Rocket League. We say it all the time. You can see how close Fernley was to that one. And off the rebound, it's Tiger Lilies for the second, his second of the series, tying it back up at 2 2. And once again, 2 2, 2 22 yeah. on the <laughs> score. They played a much better game than the previous time. They're getting it done on offense, finding these defensive chances. Oh, a little floater on the goal line, though. Tiger Lilies picking up their second goal of the game. They're going to steal that lead back away from Hyper Wide. Two goals in 12 seconds, exactly what the doctor ordered for them. A little bit of bar down action as well. Hyper Wide Chicken giving some serious, serious resistance this game. Yeah, they got to be careful with this ball though in front of the net. Tiger Lilies, that's going to be three unanswered. Three in a row, and they hat trick on the game. Two hat tricks in back-to-back -back games for this series so far. That's going to be exactly what Eastview is looking for. They want to close out this grand ball. Not going to be quite converted there. This ball going to be taken to that orange side. Demo going to be found by Bandit. Trying to find it's the goal as well. Way. Great double demo. Ball Ooh. off the crossbar. Not going to find its way into the net. What a one save. more shot toward the net. Post going to kick that one aside. Piper so close to finding that goal. That attempt by Tinny there. Riding that one across that goal line. Not able to convert. 35 seconds left. 
bugged Hyper Wide has had so many great chances. That's just getting it. denied. They will end up converting though. 34 seconds to play. Big Butter Band are gonna get them on the board. Now they have 34 seconds to make or break this series. That is exactly what they needed though. They have just enough time. Kermish here up in front of the net. Burnley gonna have to keep it in this hyper wide chicken side. I think we might just have to start calling him CTK for speed's sake, but it's Tinny to find that first goal flying right over that defender, and he's gonna plant that firmly in the back of the net. Yeah, his name might be 0-0, but this game is our game advantage. Now gonna get on the board nice and early. Gonna feel very, very good for this team. Now, Christ the King gonna have to find some way to get back in this thing. Yeah, and it looks like the Wildcats might have already found another one. Fernley almost right off the kickoff. Look at that 